Hi, how are you? Uh, Nicole Gimson, you may know me, uh, some of you may not. Um, I used to run a pub in Bolton called The Swan. Uh, I'm actually the first person as a publican to be prosecuted for giving the person's cause of smoke in a, a smoke free environment. And basically, uh, I'm standing in front of you, one, as a publican, and lastly, as a politician. Uh, basically, I've now got a criminal conviction. Some people say, Nick, you're going to be a, a, a politician, so a criminal conviction is not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> what I find absolutely amazing uh, is I, I've run, uh, I own eight pubs up until uh, this time last year. On the 28th of December uh, 2007, uh, and the judge actually told me at 10.30, I was made bankrupt. I was made bankrupt by uh, a system who's exactly the same system that wishes you, you to quit smoking, to stay at home and do as you're told. Uh, my only crime, my only crime that I've, I've committed is turn a blind eye to three old people having a cigarette. I weren't going to throw them out of the rain. My, my place is a place of hospitality. hospitality. It is my job to look after my customers. How on earth can I be looking after my customers by throwing them outside? People keep saying, it's all right, Nick, it's warm outside, there's global warming. <laughs> well, I don't know what it's been like in your part of the world uh, this winter, but it's been bloody freezing and stuff outside, and it's a great chore, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason why I've got involved in politics uh, is to see what I can do to try and change this ridiculous situation. I've been called a maverick, I've been called uh, a rebellion, <coughs> and all I've done is stuck up for people. That's all I've done. Why are you a maverick? Because you disagree with what they're telling you. There's, there's lies, damn lies, statistics, and there's a new statistics, European uh, old fascist statistics, <laughs> where they will just make anything up to fit what they want you to believe. My pub is not a public place. It is owned by me. It's not government funded. Indeed, we pay a lot of taxes to the government. I pay taxes on the alcohol, I pay VAT. I employ people. My place is not a public place. A public place is a library. It's a hospital. It's a council building. If you want to have a ban in public places, well, okay, that's the will of the people and that's the way it's got to go. But do not call my premises or anyone. <laughs> what we've got to understand, what we've got to really, really understand, there are people out there, the European Union, it's also happening in the States, it's a, it's a global phenomenon, is this? People want to interfere in every aspect of your life. And Frederick is quite correct, there's no point in sending emails. We've got to get off our feet, we've got to bang on the doors, we've got to write letters, and we've got to say, you work for us, we do not work for you. You're employed by us. So you have to say, what's going on? This is not the end, this is the beginning. And we will win, because more and more people are realising exactly was what is going on in our nations. We defeated fascism in, the 19, in 1945. It has come through the back door by stealth. It's come through the back door by stealth, and unfortunately, it's our fault. We allowed it to happen, and the, now the time is to say, no, we're not having it happening. The elections are coming up on the 4th of June. Please vote for people like UKIP and the similar, similar sort of parties in your respective countries. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy your lunch.